when i do trainings for software engineers there's a one thing i am trying to implant on their head that is how much error handling is important because there's a one of the major part in your software development life cycle but most people tend to ignore that usually i'm telling them if you don't do the proper error handling even if people are going to use if the developers going to maintain your system after you die even you're not there even you're dead people will start to hate you why because bad error handling can kill days and weeks to find some simple problems today i'm going to show you how bad error handling can create a panic on people okay long story short last video we discussed about the full pass app launched by sri lankan government right and if you are in sri lanka if you use of this system i mean if you have a vehicle then you know there is a most popular error message in sri lanka these days your chassis number and the vehicle number is mismatched that's a most common most famous error message in sri lanka why this error message is dangerous because in sri lanka most of vehicles are second hand vehicle or the domestic vehicle from mainly from japan right japan domestic vehicles import to sri lanka so once you registered the vehicle if someone says your registration number and the chassis number is mismatch that mean something you have done illegally that mean you have done some illegal modifications to your vehicle if you are if you are a second new owner of the vehicle then you are trying to blame to the previous owner he had done something he bought the chassis something right so you're so scared because um the, this type of modification can do a drastic value decrease on your vehicle it may be just a value of um, material value not the vehicle value because it's mismatch with the chassis number and the registration number so this created this this make people scared to death right so some people told me personally they were run to vehicle and just physically check the vehicle uh, chassis number and the chassis number in the registration book it's same but system says it's not it's wrong okay how i started digging to this so after i launched my previous video one of my uh, other friend krishant he is krishant he ping me and saying i he notice uh, is always chassis number wrong error message come even it is match i experienced that too and then next day one of my other friend sanjay text me saying krishant uh, this is this is my father in law's uh, bike i can register this is says chassis number mismatch i think this is going to Uh, in my marriage i of course he was joking but what i'm trying to tell you is even those records are correct um uh, the system says it's wrong okay i'm going to show you how exactly this happened how can bad coding practice can lead this type of mass panic for some reason my macbook uh, fan is still running without stopping i don't know why and it may create some noise uh, excuse for that okay so here is the um source code of this project right and how i got that no i'm not in a part of this project or uh, i don't think it's shared in anywhere but for some reason they have shipped this uh, website with the source code itself i don't know why they have done that but for some reason they have done it but if you um, i saw here uh, still the node environment configured to development that mean either they knowing and purposely they send the development build to production for some reason or either they forgot to change it i don't know what happened but i feel like given the circumstances they have developed this app uh, like fast deliveries and easy of debugging and so many things and there is nothing wrong see someone seeing this source code so i think they purposely ship this uh, project with source code to be honest i don't know why they have done it okay maybe maybe they have some uh, their own reason uh, so you can right click on the browser and then go to the developer console then Uh, you have a source code right so what i'm interesting here this is a react app and in this registration module right the registration mean once you get the otp you can enter your address and everything and then you can go to um the next screen and you can give your vehicle registration number and the chassis number and everything right so in this app you can see so let's search for on submit okay here right so you can see this is coming from the spin right okay cool right and then we have here on submit so this is the weird thing i don't know why they said the set weight into true so now you can see the spinner right the the loading screen the webc screen 
and then call the set timeout method and if you go here for how long they get the get random number okay if you go to this get random number um, let me go there it's like math dot random into 5000 right so that means they are waiting random time without doing anything i don't know why because they might have think okay it's little uh, cool to show loading screen right but in general loading the screen purpose of loading the screen is you block the uh, screen right so you still cannot do anything but what they do is they they stay for the random time right i don't know what the purpose of doing this maybe someone can explain me i may be wrong right i'm not a ui expert right so i may be wrong so uh, just tell me but this is not my point and here you can go here right so this is they are calling for this um, uh, right set waiting true so after that right so they are getting this item number then they sub, uh, submit the, uh, all those things right so they are called this uh, dispatch register uh, method right so when i when i go here right you can see here uh, this is the register they, they get the token and they uh, talk to the back end right so back end saying hey um, i i want to process this registration right so now a problem is this when they, when it come to call uh, fallback if there is some error from the back end and they go to this one right the fallback so now what they do is they pass this message right and set the waiting for us right it's a good thing and they call this error right so here you can see t so this t is go to a uh, translation hook right so now in order to translation work what they need to do is they need to give the key and the translation json um, that's how i18 works so if you go here this should be a hook yeah it's a use translation so use translation translation is a uh, i18 a hook right okay that's fine now here is the problem right so no, now you just pass this message to this translation uh, file and then it will find the proper key proper message what's coming from the back end and then it, it's going to show you the right message right so here is the problem okay so when you what you get from the back end when you're trying to uh, if the let's say uh, the registration failed because of some error coming from the rmb side right maybe timeout maybe service not there maybe service is out of order something happened in that thing so you get a uh, error call rmb verification fail right so if you search that rmb right so if you go to rmb verification fail what it will produce is see the mismatch in the vehicle number and chassis number or the vehicle type is indicated so this is why it is not problem with your uh, vehicle number or chassis number is the real problem is for some reason uh, rme does not respond it right i check this personally when i get this error message uh, i went to uh, there's other api to call in the rme side directly you can get the vehicle information that is also timing out right when that's working this is working for the same chassis number i personally verified this actually what happens is this is a bad error handling so how you do this right that's the important thing, right? So when you call a, a third party API, HTTP specification define a proper error order, right? If the error code coming in the 400 range, that is my client side error, right? If the error is coming from the 500 range, it's a server side error, right? Those are, can be transport errors, some sort of a memory issue in the server, some maybe ser uh, ser service is down, something, right? So now you need to catch this proper error, what the, uh, that service is tells you when this mismatch. Okay, so let's say this is a third party service, no matter what happened, it tells the same error. That can happen, right? Because it's not uh, developed by you, right? We cannot blame these people, right? Let's say sometime um, the service always saying verification fail, no matter what. Then you should not give this type of error message, right? So this you need to tell there is a problem with uh, RMB verification. Please try again later. Then people don't get panic, right? 
so this is a very bad thing uh, in error handling so this small video i try to show you a practical example how people how we can go for mass panic by giving a wrong uh, error handling i hope you understand you please catch the right error right i have so many things to tell you on the exception handling the good practices but this is not a video for that but please catch the right error right exception and give the meaningful message if you can do it then don't give this type of message just tell what's happening to the user so then it will be good so today we discuss about most popular error message in sri lanka this is a take care we we'll see you soon